with your equations of your equation of string the field theory and your study into the topic, do you do you find yourself agreeing with that concept of these multiple universes with many different incarnations and maybe ours is one of many different types of universes? You mean to ask me, is Elvis Presley alive in a parallel yes, universe? Yes, yes. <laughs> the answer is uh, maybe, possibly so. Uh, let me explain. <laughs> We physicists believe that our universe is like a soap bubble. Mm -hmm. We live on the skin of the soap bubble. We're like flies trapped on flypaper. We can't get off our soap bubble. Mm -hmm. But it's expanding. In fact, it's actually accelerating. We can mm -hmm. actually see the end. Um, we're gonna all going to die in a big freeze when this gigantic bubble gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And we lose enough energy that it's very cold. Yeah. And as, Things uh, stop moving. Right. Yes. And as that great philosopher of the Western world once said, Woody Allen, <laughs> he once said, quote, eternity is an awful long time, especially toward the end. <laughs> well, we physicists now believe there are other soap bubbles out there. Mm -hmm. There's no longer a universe. There's no yeah. longer a one world. Mm -hmm. There are many worlds. Right. There are other soap bubbles out there. And these soap bubbles are called membranes, or mm -hmm. brains for short, and they can collide they can peel off, bud other universes. Mm -hmm. And we're going to test this theory in the coming years. Yes. Okay. All science is reproducible and testable. Mm -hmm. That separates us from religion, which is not reproducible right. and not testable. Mm -hmm. In 2014, uh, NASA will launch a satellite, LISA, L for laser, which will detect vibrations from the Big Bang itself. Now, we have taken baby pictures of the Big Bang. Mm -hmm. Some people don't believe in the Big Bang Theory, but that's okay. It's a free country. We have <laughs> photographs of it. We can photograph the electromagnetic shock wave, the explosion. They're gorgeous photographs. They're on NASA.gov, on the website of mm -hmm. NASA. But that picture of the Big Bang is from 300,000 years after creation, when atoms begin to condense. We want to get it at the instant right. of creation itself. And we want to actually photograph the universe coming out of the womb. Wow. And maybe there's an umbilical cord connecting us to a parent brain, another universe. We that don't know. Be. But this is really deep stuff. Yeah. We're going to go before <laughs> the Big Bang with the next generation of space satellites. You see, I think you just I think you just completely blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. And we're also going <laughs> to test these theories on the Earth as well. Yeah. Uh, in May, the Large Hadron Collider gets turned on. I'm so excited about that. It's the biggest atom smasher on the planet Earth. Mm -hmm. In fact, when I was in high school, I built my atom smasher when I was in high school. This is much bigger than the one I built when I was You're, in high school. I'm hoping yours was smaller. <laughs> <laughs> I'd only weighed about 500 pounds. Uh, this nice. one is 17 miles in circumference. Mm -hmm. You could put the city of Geneva inside the machine, in fact. Mm -hmm. And we hope to create mini black holes, right. sparticles. These are predictions of string theory. Now, mini black holes are not dangerous. So don't think that Geneva is going to be swallowed up by a black hole. And then shortly by. thereafter, the entire planet and then the solar system. That's you know. right. It's not, <laughs> not going to happen. <laughs> right. These are microscopic subatomic black holes. And the energy of these black holes would barely light a light bulb. So mm. you don't have to worry that we're going to be sucked into the string theory by <laughs> creating mini black holes. Right. But we hope to create sparticles, super particles, which we think make up dark matter. We think that most of the universe consists of a higher musical note of a vibrating mm -hmm. string. So we do think that we can't prove that everything we see around you is consists of tiny rubber bands that are vibrating. Mm -hmm. But these rubber bands can vibrate at higher frequencies. We think that the next set of frequencies is sparticles and dark matter. And we hope to test it at the Large Hadron Collider.